Hello my friends and welcome to another episode on my channel. For everyone who is new on my channel, my name is Tanya Levy and I'm living in Singapore and I'm an expat from Germany. So for everyone who don't know who I am and what I'm doing, I'm a professional vocal coach and drama teacher, I'm a studied actress and singer and I'm working in the arts. You can also see on my YouTube channel a lot of uh, tips and tricks when it comes to voice or you can recently watch my show reel or you can just have some information about me on my YouTube channel. So as you may know, I did some videos regarding Singapore, I made a German versus Singapore video that you can see here. I also covered a National Day Parade song uh, from uh, Kip Chan Home, I love this song very much, so I do a lot of things about Singapore. So last time I made a video about five things that I love living in Singapore, you can also check on that video and I'm uh, showing and telling my experience and of course when you travel abroad in a different country, yeah, there are also sometimes as well things that you might don't like or they are different to your culture and today I'm gonna tell you my five things that I pretty much dislike living here in Singapore. So the heat here is enormous, so I'm showering two to three times a day, I'm putting deodorant, I'm using a Chanel perfume that I had got, got as a gift uh, last year and I'm using that and it really has no chance, nothing works. I'm smelling completely devastating, I'm smelling like fear and sweat and desperation and I'm going outside and I'm getting the whole warm heat of Singapore and I'm thinking so I spoke with a lot of my Singaporean friends and I'm trying to figure out how do they manage to live here. Some of them are born here, <laughs> they, have, they manage it differently, but some of them say even if they are born here, they still battle with the heat. As you may know from other videos, I'm coming from Germany, from Hamburg, from the cold north and Hamburg is considered to be the small little London because it like rains every day and it's super cold and uh, yes, if you are coming to this gap to this heat, it's hard. For me, basically, it's super hard. I'm sweating all the time, um, no makeup holds. Um, I'm, I feel unable to do things, actually. So that is what I really, 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 what really makes me struggle. Number two. Number two is kind of a surprising fact when you come here. <laughs> it's that in some restaurants, they don't have any napkins. I mean, it sounds sweet, but I'm, I'm a person that needs a lot of napkins and I have a lot of them in my bag and like uh, wet napkins and all kind of stuff. And you do, will if you come to Singapore, um, realize that in not every place they have napkins and sometimes you need to pay a small amount, some cents for some napkins. I don't know why that is because I'm, feel, I'm feeling weird when you go to cold storage and you have plastic bags for each item um, and on the other side you just you don't have napkins <laughs> I mean it's weird <laughs> you are like <laughs> no don't do that please have manners so this is something I don't like funny fact um, number three my all-time hate my all-time reason for not going out of the house and I really don't go a lot of times out of the house because I'm not a sociable person um, because I'm a little bit nerdy and I think people you know but anyway going by bus I think I was always complaining to my colleagues that I um, that, that the buses in Germany are horrible because I was traveling a lot from school to school and give my teachings there. So for example, I had like six or seven schools in a week and I was freelancing and I was giving lessons there, I was giving lessons there and I needed to travel all over the town to be in one place to another. So I really kind of hated the bus traveling in Germany uh, because you are being pressed with a lot of people, it is uh, smelly because a lot of people eat and drink um, and the buses, they don't really care about this. So. I'm basically jumping around on the bus and um, the heaviest part is I remember that one time I went to a bus and I really had a headache because that ride was so terrible. That is something that I really dislike. 
The trains are differently, the trains are amazing, the trains are Futurama, you know that I love the trains here. They are clean, they look like a museum, they go, they are just perfect. The, everyone is polite, everyone on mine has their place, but the buses sometimes are heavy on the road. Number four, what I don't like is that I'm being checked up a lot of times and um, I sometimes feel like uh, like I'm in a zoo and they, uh, I know that blonde people are, um, I don't see a lot of blonde people as well. Um, when I'm with expats or in groups, I do see them, yes of course they do all have their corners. But uh, I understand that on the daily street you would not see so many blonde people. But I think it's pretty much rude and I felt a lot of times aggressive and they just really stare at me. They, they take off my clothes, they, they, they look through me, they look into me, they look everything in every corner, they look in every spot that I have. <laughs> they don't even mind to just have a glimpse. I understand. In Germany if you would stare some, someone too long in the eyes maybe you would get in trouble somewhere. <laughs> And number five, big point, as you may know now from that video, I'm a vocal coach and drama teacher, I'm an actress, um, I'm doing auditions, as you may know, so people like me are just broke or poor, <laughs> they most of their lifetimes poor people, most of the time longing for uh, cheese and cakes I can't afford, <laughs> and that's good, that's very good. So basically, Singapore is very expensive and you don't realize it until you are here and you live here because uh, how to live cheaper here, cheaper lap. <laughs> Can you make cheaper lap? <laughs> okay, I hope you liked that video and if you liked that video, give it a thumbs up of course and subscribe to my channel to not miss other future videos that I will make. I hope you have a nice and wonderful day and uh, yeah, just see you in my next video.